Hi, my name is Paul Kautz. I'm the Director of Education at the Data Warehousing Institute. We're here at our TDWI World Conference in Las Vegas, and I'm happy to be joined by Michael Gonzalez. Thank you. Michael is uh, uh, Managing Director at DSS42. And Michael, you recently uh, completed your PhD, did you not? I did. So I can formally call you Dr. Gonzalez. Yes, thank you very Welcome. much, Paul. Thank you for being thank here. Thank you. Uh, and a, part of your, a big part of your business uh, is around assessments in BI and data warehouse maturity. That's one, one leg of your business, and that's one I'd like to focus on a little bit today, if we could. Okay. Um, because with, with all the stuff that people are trying to accomplish and get done, they don't really know where they're at in the process. And you kind of help them do that. And you've been working with TDWI quite a bit on our BI maturity model. Right. And I was wondering if you could just spend a few minutes and kind of give a brief overview of what that assessment process is and what are some of the key benefits that, that people would get out of just doing that. And it's a free assessment on TDWI. So, uh, Paul, TDWI's assessment is now an, a grounded assessment. I think that's where we have to start mm -hmm. the conversation. <clears throat> grounded means that all of the questions on the survey are statistically valid. Uh, that's an important, that's a, an important piece. <clears throat> Not all questions on all surveys really have any kind of statistical significance. What we've done with the TWI survey, which is the f free survey mm -hmm. uh, on, on the website, is we've grounded all the questions uh, to make sure that they're all relevant to measuring uh, uh, maturity of an organization. The second thing that I think is important with the, this particular maturity assessment, <clears throat> at, its, at the level of rigor that we've put into it, it serves two real giant purposes. Uh, one is to isolate where you can spend the limited budget that you have. Um, in other words, uh, I have uh, uh, X number of dollars I can spend. I only have so much uh, time and materials that I can throw at a project. So where do I spend that money, right? Uh, and you want to spend that money on areas that are going to give you the maximum uh, uh, impact. In mm -hmm. other words, push you to the next maturity level. You don't want to necessarily spend a lot of uh, money and effort on those areas that aren't going to necessarily get you further down the road. So the maturity assessment that we have with TDWI provides a lot more focus, a lot more guidance. The second thing is that a maturity assessment will provide you periodic trending. And that's something that a lot of people fail to do. We oftentimes start off BI projects, we get a maturity assessment to get a, a current state, and then we kind of build a roadmap of where we want to mm -hmm. be. Um, a maturity assessment, if properly uh, executed needs to be executed periodically. You want to be able to take the exact same assessment uh, six months from now and 12 months from now. And what you're trying to measure is how you're trending in your, in your BI effort. If you're trending upwards, of course, that's a great mm -hmm. thing. But you'll find, curiously, uh, over, over time, depending on budget constraints, that type of stuff, over time, you might be actually trending downward on some of the factors. So a maturity assessment helps not only with giving you definition of where to invest your limited resources, but it also serves as a great guidance to give you a trending analysis. And that trending, by the way, is where you're going to be able to um, increase, for instance, your budget. If you can say that we're trending upwards on, uh, on certain areas, it might be actually great fodder for uh, asking for larger budgets. Mm -hmm. Terrific, and you, a lot of people feel that um, that we, I talk to around here that they, they hear about the maturity model, they know it's out there, they don't know, they, they, they're almost afraid to take it. And, and it's really not an involved process to do it, is it? I mean, it's, it's pretty easy for them to, they have to, they have to understand different parameters of their organization, different pieces, but it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward for them to go to the TDWI website and click on the maturity model link and start the assessment. Uh, absolutely, taking it is, not, uh, is, is, uh, is a very simple process. <clears throat> What I would urge people to do, though, is to make sure that uh, you uh, do at least some of the investigation. Make sure that you're prepared to answer some of the questions, right? The, the more prepared you are, the better, the, the, the better that we can um, um, calculate where, you're, where, where you fall on the maturity schedule or, or scale. Uh, but generally speaking, it's a very straightforward process. It's not complicated at all. 
And there, there are, I think there are five levels of maturity, is that correct? Uh, there are five le levels of maturity, and, uh, and the model is more prescriptive these days, right? So we're really looking at trying to give you guidance on where you are and where you need to be. And we're looking to tie this maturity assessment uh, with bigger um, um, uh, enterprise models that have been established out in the industry. So if I have, am a, 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 a IT shop that has invested heavily in CMM, or ISO, or Six Sigma, or COBIT, uh, then this assessment will tie in, um, um, not directly, but it will actually um, overlap and be consistent, I think is the better word, mm -hmm. consistent with those other big models. And I, and I also get the feel, sense that um, a lot of the people that come to our conferences and stuff, when they start, especially now, they're starting to hear all the new technologies, you know, the big data, the Hadoop, the MapReduce, all the different things that are out there. And, and I think they're starting to feel like, gee, we're, we're, we're really behind. We're really, you know, because if all those people are doing all of those things, and, the, and we must really be backward almost. And, and can you share with, with, with the audience a little bit of some of the research you've done on, the, on where a, a lot of the companies fall within the maturity model? Uh, you know, the majority of the companies are doing better than before. Our maturity model has five stages and two um, basic gaps. In other words, things that we have to, hurdles that we have to jump over. Um, I, I think that where um, most organizations are are all, uh, not necessarily optimizing uh, maturity or optimizing their BI effort, which is the ultimate thing. In other words, you're really squeezing every marrow out, out of the data that you're generating, and you're a fact-based culture. Um, those are really strong goals to go after, but uh, a lot of great successful companies are not there. Uh, I think that we're starting to see a lot of people being either a repeatable process or a managed process. And these are important pieces. So when we hear all the buzzwords, and there's a lot of buzzwords uh, in our industry, uh, and, and I, get, I get the buzzwords, and they're okay, and, they, and they're trying to give us guidance on, on new areas to go chase, but I think it's important for every organization to know that there is some fundamentals that have to be applied consistently, irrelevant of the latest buzzword, or irrelevant of the latest uh, uh, you know, technology or whiz-banked uh, uh, application that might be out there. And the fundamentals are what we found statistically valid. And fundamentals could be something as simple as, um, do we have an enterprise standard for technology? Mm -hmm. Do we have standards of development? How well are we adhering to those standards? Those things today matter, irrelevant of all of the other great technology or other, other things that might be bantered about in our space. Terrific. Well, thank you very much. I think that was a good overview of the BI maturity model, and I encourage you uh, all to go out to the TWI website and take the free free survey. And if you'd like to learn, for, learn more from, from Michael, feel free to come to one of our future conferences, and he teaches a lot of classes for us. So thank you very much, and thank you, Michael. Thank you, Paul.